Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Alas and in this video we are viewing the customizer pen engraver from Coolio. We're going to see what this engraving pen has to offer to find out if it is right for marking up your EDC outdoor adventure or even tactical gear, possibly even starting a new hobby. With that being said, let's get into this review. Before we begin this video, please take a quick moment to drop a like, share, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new reviews, helping you upgrade your own everyday carry. The customizer is designed for engraving a variety of materials, such as wood, metal, rock, and glass. And this can be as simple as carving your name into it, or you can go all out creating artistic designs into the material that you are marking. In the kit, you will receive a plastic container holding the Allen key that will allow you to adjust and change out the bits, as well as an additional screw, which I think is really important so your bits don't come wobbling out. You'll also get 30 different accessory tips as well as a charging cable that is USB type C. So you can even use this for your flashlights and of course that customizer engraver. The customizer comes in with an overall length of 5.5 inches with the bit inserted as well as having a diameter of 0.6 inches. The body is constructed of polished steel and has a grip of plastic with some grooves in there to enhance the grip. This also features a new LCD screen that I really enjoy for giving you a battery life update as well as letting you know when it's done charging and it also tells you what mode you're on and you can cycle through those with that orange button. What's really nice is that it'll spin at three different cycles. We have mode number three that spins at 25,000 RPM. The number two setting will go for 1500. And lastly, that number one mode is the lowest and that'll go for 8,000 RPM. When I first picked the pen up, I was pleasantly surprised with the heft that this has. And I further think that that aids in the control that you have. So it's not super light and you're gonna dance all over the place. This does have some added pressure that allow you to get very detailed with whatever you're carving. Now I will say that you need to practice on a variety of different items before you start on the one that you wanna use. So try to get some scraps together of that same material so you know how the bits are gonna react so we don't dance all over the place and ruin what you're trying to engrave. Seriously, this engraver can run away from you, so make sure to start slow and practice on those other materials so that way you can get a system for how you want to engrave. I started out by engraving some random scraps of wood I had laying around and then worked my way up to a pumpkin which had surprisingly great results. This thing was easily and effortlessly able to carve in the design that I was going after. One of the most fun projects I worked on was engraving some Eskrima sticks, not only for enhanced grip, but you could actually carve in some pretty intricate designs. I feel that you could also use this to enhance the grip on other EDC self-defense tools. Lastly, I tried engraving a couple of knives and I really feel that this is a good idea, especially if you work in a kitchen environment where tools get mixed up quite easily, you'll ensure that your mark is on the ones that belong to you. While testing out this tool for review, I found that it was quite easy to switch out the bits using that Allen key and tightening it down. I didn't have any of them wobble up or loosen over time. I actually really enjoyed the variety of bits that this came with. So you can remove a large amount of material if you need it, or you can have that precision cutting work for any sort of detailed tasks you may be working on. One use that really surprised me was being able to get in and sharpen micro serrations with this tool. Through testing this out for review, I did find a couple of things that I would enhance on this design. First off, I do like the traction that they added to this grip. However, I think a rubberized traction grip would enhance that overall comfort and control that you could get over this tool. Also, with regards to the charging, it was quite fast, giving you hours of use. However, it is an open charging port, and sometimes when carving into wood, it kicks up a lot of dust, so I would love a plastic cover that would protect this from any sort of water, paint, or especially dust particles getting in there and ruining your charging device. I was fortunate enough to give this to a couple of friends who are much more artistic than I am, and they came out with some pretty amazing designs utilizing this tool. I was skeptical at first because I did not want this to be a piece of crap. However, I found myself getting lost in the artwork and design of the engraving and very entertaining to watch all the carvings come to life. So if you know someone that is very artistic, I think this makes an excellent gift idea, or maybe you have someone in mind who needs to relax a little. I think this is actually quite an awesome tool. Another thing that's quite nice is that it's not super loud, so you're not gonna really annoy anyone if you're using it. This is the three setting. This is the two setting. And this is the number one setting. So it's certainly not super loud. I feel that if you invested in one of these, you could absolutely start your own business creating artistic designs. If you wanted this for your own personal use, I feel that for those camping and tactical use items such as magazines or eating utensils or Nalgene's, you could absolutely mark your design in them so that way you don't lose them. Normally the customizer with the set of 30 piece engraving tools can be found for around 80 bucks. I think this is a really unique and personal gift to give during the holidays. And even if you don't give it as a gift, you can use it to create gifts. So I think it does have some potential value there. All in 
all, this is a fantastic gift idea and something that is quite versatile and definitely different from all the other things we've checked out here on the Tactical Tavern. Let me know what your thoughts are on this engraver in the comment section down below and what other gear would you like to see reviewed here on the channel? If you found this review entertaining or educational at all, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe as it does help grow the channel and ensures that you are the first to know of new reviews coming every Tuesday and Thursday. While you're there, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, and updates on gear giveaways. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.